Welcome back. Today I'm going to turn an off-center goblet. I'm not sure what type of wood it is, but it wasn't the best choice for this project. It still had the pith in the log, and I was going to try and put a captured ring on here, but it landed right on the ring, so I ended up just breaking it off. But it came out all right. I think it, it turns a lot like ash, so maybe what it is. But I had a couple of questions too about filming with your cell phone, so I threw a couple shots in the video with my cell phone and I labeled them too. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The wood shop is sponsored by Robust Lathe, Easy Wood Tools, and Chefware Kits. I thought the first part of the stem looked a little big, so I straightened it back up in the chuck, and I'm just going to bring that down a little bit.
there we go and again I'm not sure what type of wood it is but it turns a lot like ash but it's seven and a half inches tall and three inch diameter on it I know it, it kind of looks a little intimidating doing the off center but it's really not I would definitely use a piece of construction paper so you can see the ghosting on it because when you're flopping around there and you're turning it look at the top of the piece and that's how you can judge your cuts on it and then once you get down in there a little ways and you're into solid wood it's just basically like spindle turning so it's really not I did the majority of it with a spindle gouge to come in on them and then they were pretty tight so this little the little diamond detail tool there it works fantastic for getting in tight little spot like like that if you're going to do big ones you can just do the spindle gouge or the whole thing but that works great if you're going to do tight ones and it's um you can play around with this you can kick it off center more and they're, they're going to um, move your angle a little bit so the more you do that you could actually you know you can do them do them off center that way and, and create a little pattern too but it's it's not not quite as hard as it, it might look on the on the camera and the little tool i used for doing the bead normally when you do captured rings don't uh, sand it before you finish parting it off but I saw that crack in there before I finished so I, I didn't think it was going to make it anyway but that's a little tool I use little hook tool there and it's double sided so you can do both sides of the, the ring but it works pretty pretty slick um, the camera oh the camera shots so Desmond Desmond's camera broke and he hasn't put up some videos in a while we need some more for you from you Desmond so here's a little thing I made I just took it over on the channel or on the table saw and got a little channel in it and then glued a bolt in the bottom of it countersunk that in to fit my tripod mount so that just just screws right in there and if you're gonna shoot with your cell phone do it uh, sideways don't don't do them up and down because when you put it in the video editor it's just this teeny little frame so don't put it in there in there sideways but it works pretty good I think I took two different shot or three different shots with the cell phone I have a standard HD one that's, that's 1080 there's a slow-mo mode on it and then there's a ultra HD 4k thing and it is the worst one out of all of them it's the grainiest looking so I don't know if it was it's probably the lighting or some something because I've taken them with it before and it, it comes out pretty clear but I think maybe there was just a little bit too much light in here for it I don't know but it's the worst one out of all of them but yeah that little thing just just screws right on there and um, Oh, I'll get that. I one other thing I want to thank Hubie. Thank you so much. You made this t-shirt for me. He came up with the, the logo, the design there. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And Hubie's the one that did the t-shirt for the Christmas ornament challenge too. So thanks a lot. Um, I think that is about it. If this is your first time here, I have a new project video every Friday. I hope to see you there. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Hey, Mike, I think everybody's gone. If you don't do a segmenting video here pretty soon, I'm gonna keep doing goblet videos. Come on, man, it's time.